so are the prices. Universal Music Group is taking no time at all to raise their prices up in a huge catalog price increase going into effect tomorrow, May 20th, 2022. Thousands of titles will be affected. We're going to go over all of that used vinyl and how it's going to change the marketplace all right here on the Toad Hall Books and Records channel. If you like vinyl music news, audio file news, record store day stuff, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button where we keep you guys informed on all the things happening in vinyl every week. All right, so Universal Music Group, one of the largest groups, uh, collaborative uh, kind of group of art labels, is doing a catalog-wide price increase. I have in front of me a spreadsheet that goes to 2,400 items, 2,403 to be exact, items that are going up in price tomorrow. So what does that mean? So I've seen this happen. I mean, I've been in the business for over 16 years now. This does happen. Now, this is by far the biggest one I've ever seen. Typically, uh, a, a label price increase is something to keep uh, usually vinyl titles that have slipped through the cracks and bump them up and get them back aligned with uh, normal titles. For instance, uh, for a long time, well, and the Beatles, we'll go over those again, the Beatles records were relatively cheap compared to everything else in the rack. And they, they did a price change, went from like, I think 20 to about 25, 26, which were they're currently at. Um, but they're going from 26 to 36 tomorrow. So this price, you may be wondering, 26 to 36, that's insane. What do record stores have to do about it? So how this all works, the label set MSRP. So this does not mean that you're going to go into a store uh, this weekend and see prices going up. You might, you might see the new price this weekend, but you probably won't. Because stores like myself, you know, we have that price until we sell out of that item. I'm not going to change all of my records in my rack. I got thousands of records in my store. I'm not going to go change them all tomorrow. But when I sell out of them and I reorder them, I will have to pay the newer, higher MSRP adjusted margin. I'll probably be buying it for more than I sell it for <laughs> uh, next week. So, um, which is crazy. At that point, I will then move my MSRP up. We always do that when our new vinyl comes into us. So don't blame your local record store or your record owner, or whoever you buy your records for, retailing it. It's not their fault. Uh, we really, our hands are pretty tied when it comes to MSRP and what we're asking. We're talking about margins that are already really slim. Uh, if you don't know, most record shops make three, four, five bucks. Some of the record store day stuff we make a dollar on per record. So uh, record store owners don't make their money on new vinyl. And that's why it's hardly ever discounted. And when it goes on sale, it's a huge, huge deal, even if it's 10% off. Because um, there is no margin on it. If there was, they'd be like cell phone stores. There'd be one on every corner. So there's not big margin on records on new vinyl, uh, which is going to affect, obviously, the used market. So... All right, let's get into some of the titles just to kind of give you an idea of the scope of this thing, how big of a deal this is. So obviously I've showed the Beatles going from 26 to 36. Uh, and I mean, everything. We got Tupac, A Day to Remember, AFI. I'm just starting from the A's, guys. Albert King's, Almond, uh, Avett Brothers, John Batiste, Beach Boys, almost all the Beatles titles, Beck, all the Beck titles, Bee Gees, between the Buried and Me, Bill Evans, bunch of Bill Evans, Black Crows, Blakey, Bon Jovi. Uh, God, I could be here all day going through all these titles. James Brown, Carpenters, Johnny Cash, Eric Church. Almost all the John Coltrane's. Uh, Chick Corea, Credence. Miles Davis, but it's not all the Miles. There's like six Miles Davis, which I found really interesting. Like, kind of blue isn't on this list. But first Miles... They're going from about 23 to 26. They're only going up three, four, five bucks. And I should note that not all 24 items are going up 10 bucks. Some are going up two bucks. Um, here, I wrote some down here. Uh, Collective Souls, self-titled, going from 23 to 26. Now that's more in line with what we've typically seen, $2, $3, $5 on the heavy side. I have rarely seen some of these big increases. K 
Kanye West. One of every record store's, one of their favorite records right now because they sell so well because they're so cheap. They're going from $25 to $35, 10 bucks. Glass Animals, Zaba, $30 to $45, a $15 increase on that record. Rolling Stones, some of them aren't as extreme. Well, Sticky Fingers has already kind of had a price increase. Started going from 30, it's only going to 35. The first Leonard Skinner record, going from 26 to 35. Even McCartney isn't 23 to 32. NWA, one of my best selling rap albums, 26 to 36, $10 increase. Woo! It's gonna add fire to the flames for the CD market and for the used vinyl market. We're gonna to get to that here at the end of the video. Um, so what can we do? Before, before we talk about everything else you can do, I've seen, there is some good news. There is some hope on all of this, guys. It's not just rampant inflation, corporate greed, et cetera, et cetera. They're going to push the boundaries as far as they can until the consumer, the record store, and the, and the distributor all squawk. If they don't get any pushback, guess what? They're gonna keep raising them until they do. And you know what? I have a prime example of where we have succeeded. Anybody that collects KISS records, remember it's about four or five years ago, KISS records were $35, $40, and they did not move. I mean, they sat on my shelf. I mean, it's KISS. You're talking about one of the largest rock bands of all time. They sat and they sat and they sat. But guess what? They got smart. They lowered the price and went back to 25, 26. Boom, they start selling again. Hmm. Interesting how that works, isn't it? And guess what? It's a UME title, Universal Music Group. Let's see if this is on the let's see if they're gonna raise this back up. Uh, I'm just curious now that I get talking here. Jay-Z, Jewel, Elton John, Jack Johnson. Oh, that's great. Uh, in between dreams, one of my other best sellers, 26 to 36, going up 10 bucks. Uh, K-I-D, Kid Cudi, Killers, Hot Fuss, going up from 26 to 36. K-I, Kiss Records, all right. This is Love Gun, which is not on the list, but Destroyer is 26 back to 36. So, of course, this was, the price changed. This is, it's been this price for, I don't know, maybe a year or two. So, my point is, Tell your record shop owner, tell your local music company, post on social media. They're going to keep going until we say something. And that's with everything. I mean, that's with, you know, gas prices have doubled in the last year in America. So unless we make a squawk and complain about it, I'm not saying you don't have to buy records. Don't quit buying records. Don't do that. Don't go to that extreme. But Say something, make your voice known. Hey, I'm buying one less record. Instead of buying three records, I'm buying two today. We know you're doing that. Record store days, record store stores understand your financial situation. We get it. Price increase means we're gonna sell less records. Mm -hmm. That means there's less money in our pocket. We don't wanna see that. I make five bucks, three bucks a record, whether it's $26 or $36. My margin doesn't really get any better. So I would rather sell four records than two at a higher price. It doesn't benefit stores at all. Our volume goes down, it's not good. So, make your voices heard, get out there, tell Universal Music Group this is outrageous. I understand inflation like anybody, I'm a business owner. Two, three bucks, I understand. But 10, $15 on some of these records, that is astronomical. Okay, so we went over all the titles affected. Well, we went over some of them. Um, I can't make the list public, um, but like I said, it's it's a lot. Um, okay, so prices, the catalog price goes up tomorrow, Friday, May 20th, but stores will probably keep their prices low until they sell out. So get out there, pick up, if you've been thinking about picking something up, go get it now. Go get that Beatles, go get the Kiss, NWA, Skinner. I mean, it's it's, you might wanna do some record shopping as soon as you can, all the Steve Millers, Musgraves, all the Nirvanas, Nine Inch Nails, Offsprings, uh, Petties, Primus, Rihanna, Skaggs, Sinatra, Soundgarden, a ton of soundtracks, uh, Taking Back Sunday, Tinking the Bongas, Tesla, 
Thursday, Justin Timberlake. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Try to get out there and pick up some stuff before the price increase. That's the best call you can do. Um, number two, I think this is the tipping point where we start to see a little bit of a slowdown in the uh, in the vinyl community. It's been hot for the last since pandemic started. Even before then, it was pretty hot. And I think there's a couple things going on here. So I don't think it's strictly corporate greed. Obviously, there is inflation. I think part of it is they're raising price to slow down sales intentionally. They can only make records so fast, right? There's only so many records. That can, so why not raise price to meet that demand while records are in short supply? The good news is record presses are coming on today, this month, next month, this next six months, next year. There will be a large influx of supply, which will then flood the market with supply and hopefully bring prices down. Just like the KISS example, they weren't moving. They lowered the price. Obviously, they're go some of them are going back up, but it, it worked. It's, it's not all just they just make up a number. They watch this stuff. They know that there's a supply and a demand. Demand is way over supply. They can raise prices, take advantage of it, even if it's for six, eight months, whatever. They're going to do that. Very unfortunate. I hate seeing it, um, but that's what they're doing. So uh, maybe you can kind of sit this out. Maybe you can, you know, hit your local record store today. Record store, record, excuse me, record store. Pick up used titles. I mean, I have these, you know, 20 bucks. Here's the Pantera's colored vinyl, 20 bucks a pop. You know, you can still find good deals pre-owned. I like a lot of people are going to shift over to vintage records, buying them pre-owned, buying them pre That's a great way to get around the system. You can kind of bide your time. Buy a used record. It saves you some money. It gets pressure off of the new vinyl, which is feeling all the pressure. And uh, that's a good way to go. Number two, our CD sales, along with our CD sales in probably every used record store today, CD sales are up. CDs are still three, two, three, four, five dollars. A lot of people in the music industry right now are buying CDs. Yes, why the heck if they make vinyl? They work for a label, they work for a pressing plant, they work for Stoughton Printing making jackets. They're buying CDs because they're cheap. They know this is the cheapest they're ever going to be and the prices are going up. And they've already started going up. Our sales on CDs have gone up pretty good. So, not good news. Um, thousands of titles going up. Obviously, not all of them are 10 bucks. Some of them are $2, $3. Um, some of them are $10. Some of them, a couple of them are $15. Not great. I don't like seeing it. Get out there and get this stuff before, you know, this is obviously a price increase that's going to hit hardest towards the end of the year, fall, end of summer, Christmas season. As these titles sell through, the new stock comes in at the higher MSRP. It is what it is, guys. I don't, I don't like seeing it. I'm trying to, you know, I'll help you guys out as much as I can. This is your fair warning. Get out there. Get some buy-in going this summer if you're buying them Christmas ideas. Beatles records, you know, they never go out of style. A lot of the titles we're showing are, are uh, catalog titles, uh, titles that every store pretty much stocks and sells all the time, kind of the bread and butter of the, the backbone of the industry. Uh, this is going to put a hurting in it. And uh, I... I don't like seeing it go. Uh, it's going to hurt record store days, hurt record stores. It's going to hurt record uh, buyers. It's going to hurt shops. It's going to hurt everybody around. My person, it's not going to hurt. It's probably the pricing points and the labels because um, they can tailor and change these prices as they stock up in the warehouses. They can adjust uh, to meet demand. So make your voices heard. Get out, get this stuff now before the price increases. And just sit tight. Hopefully, this stuff will adjust down. Um, hopefully, things will change in the right direction. And maybe they'll just cool them off a little bit. You know, two, three dollars, maybe I wouldn't have squawked as much. Five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. I'm going to make a video and let you guys know what's going on behind the scenes because it's not your local record store, it's not your shop owner. Their hands are tied. 
It's somebody else up higher making the decisions. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Wish I had some better news for you. Uh, but if you like this kind of stuff, obviously check out all my other stuff on the channel. We do a live show on Tuesdays uh, where Annette and I go over music news. We kind of hit on this a little bit this week on our morning show. Uh, we do a MoFi Minute. We talk about audio file stuff. We do New Vinyl Roundup. We talk about New Vinyl coming out. Uh, we do that Thursday, which later today. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.